everybody this is a special video of ours brought to us for you from the school in Bryn I am now caretaker here and when I've mentioned my hobby everybody's gone mad about it and they've given me a field to do so today we're going to do it as though we're talking to children everything will be boys and girls and do you know who this is <laughs> but anyway my friends let's unearth the history of Bryn and we'll catch you on the very first or oh, Mrs. First Hall in a bit. What do you think, James? Well, let's see what we can find. Catch you on the first hole. Oh, yeah, everybody. This is James, boys and girls. <laughs> this is Nicole. <laughs> this is Detective Jim and Paul. So, yeah, sit back, relax, and let's see what we can get. Bye for now. Right, boys and girls and teachers, uh, we have a find. My friend James is up there, he's had a few finds, some 20 pences and 10 pences, but the spendables guys, anyway, we've got a find, our miss has got a find, so, in we go. Well boys and girls, can anybody tell me what that is? It's round and in the ground, and miss has found it. Just let's have a look in your hand there, miss. Well, guys, look at that. An old pound coin, I think, miss, isn't it? Old pound coin. Can you just turn it over for me, miss? There we go, guys. And believe it or not, kiddies, we can still spend them. All you have to do is, if you find one, take it to the bank and they'll give you a pound for it. So anyway, from me and miss, we'll catch you on the next haul. Give it five minutes. I had one, one beer last night and a headache this morning. Well, kiddies, Miss is on number two. And I think we can just see it. Do you want to just point it out for us, Miss? Oh. Go on, Miss, pluck it out. It's, uh, well, children, me and James always say, 2p or not 2p, that is the question. But remember, kiddies, every little helps. So, yeah, miss, it's a two pence. On to the next, miss is out doing us. See you later. Right, my friends, boys and girls and teachers, this is what we look for when we get a good signal. Right, miss, if you can just swing that for me. As you listen to ping, ping, ping. And when we look at the scale, as we go over, we're hitting the fur notch, which is classed as silver or coins. That is what we're looking for when we have a good signal. The next step uh, is pinpoint. So, slow your swing. There. Now, as we come around, kiddies, we do a cross formation. And it makes it a little bit easier to pinpoint. So if you swing again, miss nice and short, that's it. Yeah, I'd say it was there, miss. So what we then do is you visualise where the coil is. And miss is going to show you that we're going to dig round it. So, lay your detector and dig your spade in. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to dig a little hole round here. And hopefully her farm should be somewhere within that circle. There. So I'll pause you for a minute and then we'll come and we're back. Look how deep that was, kiddies. And it's in the clod somewhere. Don't be fine again, dug in it, miss. Oh, 
we have a heartbeat. Just get your hand in it and pick it up, Hermes. Right, it just stop you there. See that ball you've just got hold of? There it is. See it? Just there, hummed up ball. There. Another coin miss. That was pretty deep, weren't it? You know what they say, miss? 2p. Go on. Or not 2p. <laughs> Do you, do you know, I don't mind them because who dropped that and how long ago? Because I bet it's 1970s, something like that. Might be able to get a date off that, my lovelies. So I'd see it so. I'll give it a clean up after and we'll see if we can get a date off it when we round up. Well, anyway. On to the next. Right, boys and girls, uh, I've got a fine little target in here. I uh, dug it out. Uh, we call this a plug. A uh, big lump of soil, and our target's in here somewhere. So, we use this little, this is a little metal detector called a pinpointer. Uh, that's your big machine that you main detect with. And we've got to have a look in here and see what we can find. So you mess around and feel around, see if there's anything there, and you should hear it bleep. But we've not got everything just there yet, so what we do, we get another tool, which is this, which is a trowel. It's a special trowel because it's for, uh, for metal detecting. So yep, yeah, what we do, you get your clump of soil and we'll cut into it. We'll open it up and we have a look. Ah, see, we've got a target there, see. So, what we we'll do, we'll open it up. Three little bits of soil. So it's in this bit here. And that. that. And there we go. Look at that. A 20 pence piece. And that was in the ground. And we've got a date on that as well. 1962. That's a 20 pence piece. And now in our game. In this hobby, we call that spendables. But you can still spend that in the shops. Right, so what you're doing now, you put that away, and you get your clunk of soil, and you put it back in the hole, and you always make sure your hole is nice and tidy, and you found it the way you dug it out. There you go. Press it down so it's nice. So it looks better than it did. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. Alright, we'll have a look for some more. Catch you on the next little hole. Bye for now. Alright, boys and girls, uh, we found another target. Uh, we took the clunk out. And there it is. You can see, we pull it out. We've got a clean. a tempe. And again, as I said before, we call these spendables. I think you'll spend them in the shop after you clean them, of course. All right, Paul and your teacher is over there. Uh, Paul's teaching how to use the metal detector, uh, and we'll give you a full demonstration later on. So we'll, ca we'll catch you on the next hole.
bye for now. Hi boys and girls, uh, I'm dug another hole, we've got another target and it's a 10 pence piece. Uh, we're going to do a few more holes then we show you how metal detectors work. Uh, this is called a, a Garrett AT Pro. It's one of the most one of the expensive machines but you can get cheap ones. Uh, we'll show you how these machines work later on in the video and how these uh, these little metal detectors work and what tools we use in metal detecting. So carry on find a few more targets and we will show you how these machine works. So we'll catch you on the next hole. Hi boys and girls, uh got another target. It's down here. Uh, this is a bit of an unusual find. But I get a bit of a clean off. It's a toy car. Isn't that pretty cool? A little toy car. Don't know how long it's been in the ground. Been there a while. But yeah, I've got a toy car. This hobby it can get very dirty. You get messy soil and all that stuff. But yeah, a nice little toy car. Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Hello again boys and girls. I just have this old target here. Uh, I dug it out, but unfortunately it's rubbish. Uh, it's not what we want to find really. But remember kids, always put your rubbish in the bin. Don't leave it on the floor. Uh, always put your rubbish in the bins. Right boys and girls, catch you on the next little hole. And bye for now. It's alright Paul. Explain to the children what you're doing. Right boys and girls. I'll turn the headphones off. What I'm doing, I'm swinging the signals. North Terra keep me coiled, vertical, to the right. And when I get a signal, like that. Just follow it round. Now with that, we're getting mixed signals. So anything. 35, 20, 22 to pass. So we'll leave that. What kind of objects are you looking for? I'm looking for anything. Iron, nails, but we really want to find artifacts. Anything that belongs to your school. But yeah, once we get a good signal, you can hold in on it then. I can tell he's got a, a no signal there. And you hear that high pitch. More than likely that sign in it. Now what we do, you want to come around this side, Jim? So as you can see the display is randomly picking numbers. But we're really looking for a and solid number, yeah, aren't we? We're looking up here where this is coming down here in the non-ferris. The ferris, the iron, we don't want this. We're looking up here. So if you watch the signal, show you what it is. And you see a little target there on top. That's what we're looking for. So we'll dig that. So that's the diggable hole we say for. I'd say it was. It's a bit scratchy. But we'll have a look. 
and what's he doing now he's digging in a circle to uh, dig out the clonk of uh, soil with the farmer around and then what we do Kitty, we flip it we've now got our clod and our hole we grab the insector and we swing the hole now that's telling me that we're still in the hole because if you go over the clod there's nothing over the hole so his target is still in the hole so <coughs> we get our pin pointer turn it on little lat and you can hear the non the the torn and uh and something there as you can hear the tone if I come over here there's nothing here as soon as I go near it so all we do put our spade in just take the little bit out and see if it's still there as you can see it's gone so it must be in here and it should be in this Oh. Now what do we call them, Paul? Now these <laughs> boys and girls we call a coin ball. Now if there's a pull tab in it, we'll have to tell James off, won't we? <laughs> so crumble it up. It's still there. Drop a little bit, just keep it up. And we're still there. we go and it's a coin and it's an old 10 feet it's a new 10 pen it's a uh, spendable <laughs> yeah if you find 10 pences like this girls and boys or 20 pence pieces 2 pence pieces it doesn't matter what corrosion there is once you give them a cleaning you can see them you can spend them anyway from me and James on to the next. Now I'll just carry with you for a bit and yeah, let you get a few it. more clients. And you 50p? Oh, 50p. And get some can of pop that does. Can of pop. Can of pop. It used to get your can of pop, a bag of crisps, and some toffees, 50 pence. When you was when he was young. When I was your age. But he's an old man now, so. I'm not that <laughs> So yeah, remember kiddies as well, always take your rubbish, every hole matters. Yeah, I mean you always got to fill your holes in. Always fill them in correctly. We don't want to leave it open and someone falls down it and hurt, hurt themselves, do we? We so don't yeah. want that. And then, we pick it up. And we're going to look for another one. all over again. Your teacher is over there. She's having a, having some fun. We'll go over in a little bit and see what she's got. Oh, that's a Can nice, that's a nice sound. Listen. Yeah. That's a good sound. Yeah, that's a good sound. That's the kind of sound we're looking for. What numbers are we getting, Paul? I'm getting 85, 86. Solid. Oh, that's a bit. That's a. A big number, so that's going to be really good, that is. So let's dig it. And it's not so deep. Now there you go, you dig your, dig your holes. Make them nice and round. Pop Make, your clod. Yep. Grab your detector. And we go over again. And it's still in the hole. Because if I go over the clod, there's nothing there. So, according to my machine, it says 10 to 15 centimetres deep left. 
averaging 10 centimetres. So we'll put her to one side. Get our pin pointer. Turn it on. You see when the light comes on? And we pinpoint. Oh, I think I can see some of there, James. Right. You can just see it there. I'll just get my trowel. It's a bit of rubbish, guys. Uh, not what we're looking for, is it? Definitely not what we're looking for. But that's a prime example of you've got to find your rubbish before you find your treasure. And everybody goes through it. When you see YouTube videos and they're showing you all nice farms, they've been there all day. And they'll have started finding stuff like this. So, yeah. Oh, we'll put it in his bag. I'll put it in the bag. Always take your rubbish home. Yep. Oh. Take it in the nearest bin. Yeah, but always take your rubbish. Yeah. It's not that when you come detecting on once you get a permission and stuff like that and you come detecting again, you've no rubbish to contend with because you're too strong for uh, that. Way. So we just recheck the hole. Always wipe your stuff down when you've done. Make sure it's turned off. And Uncle James, I've got something to tell you about this. Go on. I will, we have a friend called Digger Dawn. She does the same as us with the YouTube. And she was on about these new wireless pinpointers. Did you know that if I drop this and it's switched on, if I've not picked it up within an hour, it sends a distress code to the headphones. Oh, wow. So you can find it, you go beep, beep, and as you get close, you go beep, 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 beep. So you can't lose your pinpointer. Well, they're very special then ones, aren't they? Yeah, but if you do get one of these, what I would suggest to you is get yourself a lanyard. Always clip stuff with you, because the one time you'll drop it, you'll leave it, but you'll leave it behind you and it's been dragged. So yeah, it's not that. The deer equipment and the well worth looking after. Very sensitive. So yeah, pinpointer. You can get any type of pinpointer. They all do the same job, but the more expensive ones are the better ones. But for kiddies, a simple pinpointer and a simple detector, and you're on your way. Exactly. Well, anyway, my friends, on to the next. Boom, boom. Tin can, James. Tin can. It's not what we're looking for, really, is it? What we're looking for, really, really looking for the treasures. We're only looking for and treasures. And artifacts. We're Coins. Like pirates, but we're good pirates. <laughs> yeah, we're good pirates. And we all like to take our rubbish away with us and put yep. it in the bin. And whenever you find a hole, even if it's a rubbish hole, you always start at your hole. Yep. You're pointing forward and you go like a grid pad. Go up and down, up and down, and what you're doing then is you're covering half the path which you've already covered, covering new side of grass on this side, whatever's in the middle, and whatever you've missed on your original side because they do come up yep. when you miss the object. The object is as well is knowing your size because you can be digging all day and digging tins and rubbish. yeah. Different sounds of different metals. I'd say that was a tin can meter. There you go. I can hear that sound. That's a good sound with that little grunt on the side of it in there. Uh, it's that little grunt we don't really want no. in our targets. So continue your sweep. Any little cracks, you can always you can neglect them, you don't really need them. It's when you're solid. Now you don't see flight it's gone. So why do you have the coil right down to the ground, Paul? The reason you're just slashing the grass is the more contact you have with the ground from your coil, you don't want to be hitting the ground like that and trying that because it just won't work. So yeah, just a nice lift, couple of centimetres, gives better coverage and better contact with the thing, whatever you're looking for. 
but that is a big stone. But what we'll do, we'll dig it and we'll see what's there. But I think it's a tin can. Was Could it be a piece of lead? Was it a high number or a low number? Yeah, it was in the 85. Although it's a high number. And it's the high numbers we're looking for. Now like I said boys and girls, always go over your hole. And then over your club. It's faint, gone faint now, isn't it? Mm. But it's rather. Just me that club. Could be two things, rather. Could be on top of the surface. Or it's still in there. It's still in the hole, DM. It's still in the hole. Pinpointer. Oh, there we go. And there it is. Just there. When you do do this and you do find the signal, sometimes it can be in the side wall. So when you turn your pinpointer on, turn it on in the air, no contact then, and as you bring it down, scan your edges, like that. And if you notice, nothing there, so if I go a bit deeper, a bit deeper, and there it is. As you see, you get a staggered beep. The closer you get, the more of a solid tone. So what we'll do, put our spade in because it's deep. Bring it out and we'll try again. And it's come out, so with a bit of luck, boys oh, and girls, it should be here. There we go. Well, James, it's a coin ball. It is a coin ball. Just check the area. Ready, guys? It's a penny. <laughs> I mean, we know there's going to be lots of this with all the sports days they've had. Which monarch's that then? Yeah, you can anybody what? tell me which monarch it's? Let him give it a clean up first. Now everybody will know her. Just let James hold it while I check, recheck the hole. You tell us which monarch that is. Tell you what, Jim, they're deep, them two. Can they? Yeah, they're quite deep, them ones. There you go. The penny on the other side. One penny! One penny. Well, we've nearly enough for a packet of crisps. Yeah. 61 pence spendables. All this will be left at school anyway. Yeah. Every little helps. Well, let's see if we can find some good stuff. Yep, I'm going up. Right, boys and girls, I'm dug an old hole. And it's in here. I'm going to call this a clump or a coin ball. We now know what's inside it. So we crack it open and see what we've got. Do it nice and slowly. There you go, treasure. And it's a two pence coin. And that was in that little hole, little ball of soil. There we go, treasure. I will catch you on the next hole. Bye for now. Right, boys and girls, uh, Paul's got a target. Uh, it's a high number, 91. And it's deep. And it's deep. And it's there. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's a piece of cube. It was a very high tone, that. I had a feeling it was going to be something. Yeah. It? So anyway, kiddies, cube. Not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. But you know where trash goes? In the bag. In the bag. And then remember, in the bin. Always check your hole. Yeah. Just a sweep. Nothing. Nothing. Piece of tube.
plug back. Press it down so it looks nice. And that's it. And away we go again. Alright boys and girls, got another another hole. And we've got it's in this part here. So we'll get this tool. There's another little small little version of these. And we go across. There we go. And there's the imprint. Yeah. That was it. Another two pence coin. Right, boys and girls, that's your next little hole. Bye for now. Well, boys and girls, I've come on to my next signal and it's stuck to my spade. Have you noticed there, boys and girls? 2p or not 2p? That is a question. I hope you're enjoying it because we are. So, yeah. Two pence in the pot, boys and girls. On to the next. Well, boys and girls, my next signal. And if anybody can tell me what that is, they'll get a gold star. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides, seven sides. So if anybody can tell me what that is and it isn't a new one it's an old one on to the next well children and teachers James has gone all say hello James hello he's got a nice signal a 91 92 stick it together oh now then Hmm, mm -hmm. artifact. Is there anything on it? No. No, it's something. I'll just check that. No, there's nothing in there. Could be in that part of an old watch. Mmm. Fuck off on it. It's definitely a lid off something, guys. So, yeah, uh, children, I'm just going to talk to my friends. Anyway, my guys and dolls out there if anybody has a clue what this is it looks like some kind of crap it's got a connection point there uh, I think it's a, a type of aluminium but yeah if anybody knows guys oh post below it's down here somewhere find it cool on to the next well James yep on to the next on to the next Right boys and girls, uh, we've come to another successful end of the day and whew, we've had loads. Check what Mrs had first. All the coins, a grand total of what miss? 75 pence, one pound off? Yeah, nearly two pound in coins. There, a lovely little car. Lovely little car. Bright yellow, we think it's Hot Wheels. But yeah, how long has that been there? And then James found a Jeep, a Humber. So that's two cars today. Loads of spendables. An old ring. Plenty, plenty spendables this it could be a smash bullet but we're not too sure because when lead goes really old it goes white so we don't really know what that is but that is definitely old another old piece of lead there that 
that's fair trash. Not really a lot for saying we've been here since about half past eleven. Not a lot of trash. But I think the stair farms today are the cars. <laughs> the big spoon. We all love a spoon. <coughs> Imagine. One of the earlier children who used to go to the school could have been eating with that spoon or digging with it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for coughing, but yeah, now nice spoon. <coughs> but the farm of the day. <coughs> is a 1914. <coughs> One pence. It's a George V. <coughs> it's a bit crusty, but once we get it cleaned off, so it does prove, boys and girls, that on your field there is some old stuff to find. It's just a matter of getting through this lot. <coughs> Back there, absolutely brilliant there. A couple of old angles there, but Miss has done really well for saying it's the first time. She was using the Garrett 150. Lovely little starter machine for all you kiddies. I started with it and look what you can find. <coughs> so anyway my friends, so as from me, Miss and James, we'll catch you on the next day. Bye for now. Bye for now.